Hello my fellow comic book collectors. Uh, this is going to be another unboxing video. Actually, I'm calling this the crazy unboxing video because it's just a huge collection that came and it's just a bunch of big boxes. So it's the first big box this is really heavy. One. And then there's a smaller box. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> Let's see how big that one is. And one more underneath. Five, five boxes, five big boxes to unbox. So <laughs> it's a crazy video. So um, stay tuned for all of that. Uh, it's going to be some Golden Age, some Silver Age, and some modern cool comics. And some, maybe some girly comics, like um, some sexy comics from, I ordered a bunch from uh, Tarot. Uh, so yeah, so these will be some cool comics in, involved as well. So stay tuned for all that. And um I'm going to start opening these up so you can see. Okay, so this was the first one, and I'm actually not super impressed with the grade, but it's a, kind of a cool comic. Um, I was a big fan of the TV series, a really funny TV series. Um, this is Powerpuff Girls number one. It's their first appearance in comics, and it's just it was a really great um, uh, series. I very enjoyed. So I try to collect things that I, you know, I like the TV series of. And I heard that recently they're going to make um, a live action version, which I'm not sure if it's going to work, but it might be interesting. Um, so yeah, there's, this is a, I would say this is a mid grade. It's not a high grade. I'm just very disappointed by, there's lots of, um, there's like a big dent in the stuff. I'm not sure, not, not the highest grade. I'm a little bit disappointed by the grade. Okay, so that's the first. That was the one little box. <laughs> Just had that one comic. And now I'm going to open up, show you the next box. So this was the next big box. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff in it. It's like a collection. And uh, I'm not really sure what this is, so it might be interesting. <laughs> Hopefully, something cool. Nice. Really cool little instructions on how to open it. So let's see. And really challenging. <laughs> there was so much tape to pull off here. So that's that. And let's see what's inside. Ah, so this is a really cool series, actually. Uh, this is I Hate um, Image. Uh, not Image, but it's actually Fairyland. But this is the this is the free comic book day one, but it's a whole collection. So it's going to be the whole collection of these. I hate uh, Fairyland. So I hate Fairyland again, number fifteen. So I got one through fifteen. Number fourteen. And I think some of these might have some more adult titles. Uh, number thirteen. It's a really good series if you ever want to check something out that's a little bit fun to read a little bit <laughs> a little bit uh, bloody and gory but uh, a very funny read number 12 number 11 number 10 i really like scotty young and it's he made this series and it's quite quite good as i said number number nine I didn't pay much for the series. I think it was like 20 bucks or 30 bucks or something like that. It wasn't expensive. <laughs> so I was quite happy to pick it up pretty cheaply, the whole series. Uh, there's actually, I think, 20 in the series, but I got the first 15. So uh, this is number eight. Number seven. Let's see, as I said, sometimes more adult titles. <laughs> And another more adult title. Uh, so they, they, they had the I Hate, and then they had the other version. Uh, this is the number six. So these are all modern. Uh, number five. And basically, the story is um, of a little girl that goes to fairyland and <laughs> goes around killing all these fairy tale characters. So this is number four. Number three, 
So basically, yeah, this little girl, see this little girl right here, her name's Gertrude, and she's just going around killing like these fairy tale characters. It's kind of funny. And the last one is uh, I Hate Fairyland number one. And this is her first appearance. And it's, as you can see, it's like, you know, <laughs> pretty gory. <laughs> it's a really funny series, though. It's quite good. Okay, so that's the next box. So then next, as I said, I bought a bunch of collections. Didn't pay much, 20 bucks, 20, 30 bucks range, but got a full collection. So I always like that when you can buy like a full collection and you're paying less than cover, even for the number one, which usually goes for way more than cover. So um, it was a really cool collection to pick up and I'm really enjoying it. It's, I really like his artwork and I think it's a funny, funny series that he created. So, okay, so next box. Okay, so the next box that was quite huge uh, is actually a, my Dig Auctions collection that I just, um, I won several Dig Auctions and um, they sent it all in one big box. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna show you what I, the, uh, uh, the auctions that I won. I'm not sure how to open this one. So, this is actually a lot of Silver Age and it's really cool comics that I got. Um, the first is uh, this one, Aquaman number 18, and it's the issue where he marries Mara. So <laughs> very cool. I This is one of my favorite issues from the whole series. So I just I always like these kind of wedding covers. So yeah, so this one's kind of cool. Uh, Aquaman number 18. So yeah, that's from the original first series of Aquaman. And this is another one uh, that's really cool. Uh, this is Aquaman um, number 22. I believe, I, I'm trying to remember the first appearance that's in this. I think it's uh, maybe the Sea Nymphs or something. I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure this is kind of a major key. And this is the first Aqua Baby. <laughs> uh, this is um, Aquaman number 23, the first appearance of Aqua Baby. <laughs> So I, I like these original Aquaman. I was a big fan of Aquaman from the TV series in the 70s. So that shows you how long ago. Um, and then there was a bunch of slabs that they sent. So I'll show you the slabs that I got. This one is a really cool one. Um, this is Aqua, uh, not Aquaman, uh, Wonder Woman 205. And this is like a famous, famous cover, bondage cover. And it's like, um, yeah, so it basically says origin of Nubia. And it's, uh, you know, it's it's a second appearance of Nubia as well, I believe. And it's just kind of a cool cover. Quite a pricey book. This one is hard to find and it's very pricey. Uh, this is not the greatest of grades. You know, it's a, it's a high grade, but it's not super high. But um, really been trying to find this one for a while. It's a great issue to pick up. So um, Wonder Woman 205, that's the first one. And here's an older Golden Age Wonder Woman. Uh, it's a restored copy. So the restoration is a small amount of glue on spine of cover. So very minor restoration. Uh, I might, I'll probably do a video about this later, <laughs> uh, but uh, it's a 3.5 Golden Age Wonder Woman 26. So it's, I always love these Golden Age Wonder Woman. They're just kind of cool in my mind. They're just, you know, I just something about the whole style of the 40s. Um, so this is from 1947. So pretty cool Golden Age Wonder Woman. Next one is another kind of cool one. I, I actually overpaid on this one. Usually with dig auctions, I can get pretty good pricing, but I got a little bit carried away with the, the clicking of, uh, of the, you know, the bids and I overpaid on this one. But um, this is the first appearance of the Overmind. And I just thought it was a kind of a cool one. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Fantastic Four. And this is um, Fantastic Four 113, first appearance of Overmind. And yeah, 
it's I think I paid 40 bucks or something like that. It wasn't super overpay, but you know, it's still an overpay for the grade. So yeah. Okay, so that's that box. Still have two more boxes to do. This is, as I said, this is a crazy unboxing, just so many things. So as promised, uh, here's the sexier end of the collection. Uh, so this is um, Tarot, the Witch of the Black Rose. Um, I'm basically, I have like almost a complete run of, uh, of, the, of the series. These are just the more recent ones. Uh, see, these are brand new. I ordered it from the actual artist. So that's number uh, 77. Oh, sorry. Yes. So, so sorry, 76. They're very kind of sexy covers. Uh, number 77. These aren't bagged and boarded, so I have to kind of be a little careful. And this one is kind of cool, cool black cover. Uh, 74. And this is number 27. I really like his artwork. Uh, 109. So great covers. Uh, and then 109. I really like that. That's kind of a very cool cover. And 118. And what's this one? I'm not sure. Uh, 125. 125. And 126. And another 126, like an alternate cover. And last one, uh, number 63. So that's kind of cool. And, oh, and there was a little art print. I'll censor it a bit. <laughs> I don't know if I should censor it. Okay. It's just a little art print um, that they threw in. So it was kind of nice that they gave me a nice little art print. So that's uh, one of 400 art prints. And then there's some more. There's the, okay, I'm going to censor it a little bit and <laughs> just keep my channel PG. Um, this is uh, the cosplay version of uh, 126. So kind of a sexy cover, <laughs> as I said, a little bit sexier. So this, and that's signed by him as well. And last little lot here. Uh, 115. Nice one. Really nice cover. All these have amazing covers. Just really great artists. Um, 115. The stories are kind of, you know, kind of fun. They're not really anything serious or anything, but, you know, you know fun, fun, fun series. And this is uh, 116, but just really great art. I mean, he's a brilliant artist. Sexy, sexy girl artist, I guess. Um, and then this is another 116, other cover. And 117. Another 117. And 120. They're very dark, some of these covers. Like so, well, maybe a little hard to see. Um, one, another 120, a, a B cover. Or A cover, I'm not sure which is which. And last one is 125. That's, that was the, all from the artist. So I bought those directly from the artist. I always like, if you can buy uh, comics directly from the creator, it's always best in my mind. Um, now, <laughs> that was all the smaller boxes, believe it or not. Now, just one last huge box to unbox. So um, I hope you're enjoying this video. I try to put the sexy ones in between so that 
<laughs> maybe keep you interested. Uh, so yeah, so now it's just a big unboxing and then that'll be it. So pretty, pretty crazy unboxing so far. So stay tuned for the last box. Okay, wow. Okay, so there's, there's like five stacks, or sorry, six stacks like this inside <laughs> and a few slabs as well so um yeah it was a big unboxing um so you're you're lucky you didn't have to watch me kind of trying to open those boxes um but yeah let me show you what's inside this first bag so hard to open so I forgot what these ones were. Oh, this is my excellent and collection and some Star Trek. So uh, some really cool ones involved here. Okay, so Star Trek number 13. Uncanny X-Men number 303. Now what I did for these X-Men, this is just me kind of just trying to get all the major keys in X-Men because what happened was I collected X-Men way back in the 90s but I didn't have necessarily a very good collection. And um, basically I just went to like uh, key comic collectors <laughs> and I just searched, you know, I searched for X-Men to see what all the major issues were. And these are basically all the major later issues of X-Men. So uh, X-Men 299, uh, they all have either some first appearance or some major event so I just thought it'd be cool to get them all in my collection. And they're fairly affordable. They're not like high-end like prices. Like I think typically about $5 for each, you know, so it's not, it wasn't big money or anything, but, but it's nice to get those keys because you never know, they, you know, could become something in the future. Um, so yeah, so uh, 236, oh, cool cover. And 526. I like the Emma Frost. And then also another collection that I, I like. I'm a big fan of uh, Vampirella. So this is uh, Dynamite. This is like the zombie uh, version of, um, I think that's Red Sonia. And uh, it's just sort of like a homage cover to Amazing Spider Man, Amazing Fantasy number 15. So yeah. So, and then some more X Men. So X-Men 196. And if you go to, uh, not Comic Tom, but if you go to key comic collectors, you can find out what all these first appearances might be. I don't, I don't know them all off the top of my head. So this is 410. X-Men 200. I always, like this one I just got because it's, um, uh, you know, uh, 200, you know, if it's a 100, 200, 300 number. I always try to get those uh, milestone issues. And 250. Okay. And this is another series. I wasn't, I don't know anything about this series, but they are not like us. I heard that maybe it's interesting. Again, I paid cover price, so I figured, hey, why not? <laughs> like, maybe it's a good series. Okay, so I just figured it would be worth checking out. And 163, 215, 455, not in any particular order, it seems, uh, Emma Frost, or sorry, early Frost, early Frost. And then this is another one of those dynamite ones. I thought this was a cool Vampirella and Red Sonia cover. So it's sort of like zombies meets uh, the, you know, Red Sonia and uh, Vampirella characters. Okay, and 312, X-Men 312. Okay, so that's the first bag. <laughs> Lots to go through. So, and these I bought all from uh, my comic shop, and I put my my link in the description so you can check them out. And 
if you buy from them, it supports the channel. So it's always good. <laughs> and the channel can use whatever support it can get. So let's see what else is in here. Some more, oh, this is early X-Men. Some Silver Age, maybe. Uh, X-Men 57. And this is another series that I heard about. I wasn't sure if it's any good. Uh, it's Black Science, number one. I'm not sure if it's any good. Just heard that it might be interesting. So I figured I'd check it out. And uh, X-Men 126. So a lot of X-Men. <laughs> this will be big X-Men run. Uh, X-Men 5, uh, sorry, 529. Nice Emma Frost cover. I like Emma Frost as a character. Uh, X-Men 12. I think that's uh, when uh, Wolverine fights Sabretooth. And then this is Giant Size Avengers number one. Okay, so this is kind of a kind of a major issue. It's the first appearance of Noclo. And um, I don't know, it's kind of a cool, cool issue. <laughs> so yeah. And oh, X-Men 300. Oh, this is like so 90s. It's, like, it's awesome. It's got the, you know, the shininess to it. Um, so X-Men 350. So that's kind of a cool issue. And another early X-Men, X-Men 36. I think this is the first appearance of Mechano. And this is another series. Um, I did a video on um, Brian Vaughn, and this is another series that he did, which was called Ex Machina. And it just, uh, I haven't read it yet, but I was curious because I do like the writer. So that's Brian Vaughn's Ex Machina. And we have a really cool Psylocke cover. And this is X Men 467. I think I just bought that for the cover. <laughs> I really like the cover. And uh, 527. This is another early X-Men. And this is X-Men 44. First appearance, uh, not first appearance. Uh, it's the first appearance of Red Raven, I believe. So yeah, X-Men 44. I'm with, uh, oh, oops, sorry. And then Star Trek, uh, this is, I forgot which issue this is, Star Trek 43. Okay, Star Trek 43, one of the painted covers. And Avengers 46, I think this is the first appearance of um, some somewhat a lame character, but somebody else did a video about it and I thought, <laughs> why not take a look at it? I think it's the first appearance of this guy up here. And, um, his name is Whirlwind. Yeah, so it's not a major character or anything, but I just thought it was kind of cool to get a first appearance of some minor character. I don't know if he's going to be anything special, but I, don't know. I thought it was kind of interesting. And um, X-Men 300, as I said, I like these uh, milestone issues. So X-Men 300, it's all shiny and stuff. And this is... Uncanny X-Men 466. And 281. And this is Marvel. I, I, I got the others in the series. This is just the last that I needed. And this is Marvel number one. So I heard it's one of the worst series ever made. So even more reason to buy it. <laughs> it's always kind of funny. Uh, yeah. So this one is kind of cool. X-Men uh, 42, The Death of Professor X. And if you know anything about comics, uh, that means that he is not dead. <laughs> they always seem to die in every issue. Um, so yeah, so Death of X, uh, Professor X. And this is X-Men 42. I think this is like the origin of Professor X. So the next one, that's 
few more of these to go. As I said, this is a pretty crazy unboxing. Lots of stuff. I should almost make this like two or three videos because it's just so much stuff. But I love the un big unboxing videos. So hope you enjoy these too. Okay, some more X-Men. So X-Men 390. X-Men 229. X-Men 241. I think this is the first appearance of um, the Goblin Queen. I'm pretty sure where she becomes the Goblin Queen. And this is a 176. And this is X-Men 316. X-Men 392. And 395. X-Men 395. Okay. Three more stacks to go. <laughs> it's like Ohada comics. Oh my goodness. So I hope you're staying tuned for all this. This is quite a long video. Sorry for that. But I'm trying to go through these as quickly as possible. Some cool, you know, these are all keys. Um, maybe not major keys, but uh, they're all like X-Men keys of some kind. Um, and maybe worth checking out for yourself. Okay, some more. Okay, so this is another one. This is the Peach Momoko variant. Uh, I actually have the other one. This is the one with Vamp Bawa. I have the one with Red Sonia. This is Dynamite number one. And Uncanny X-Men 399. And Uncanny X-Men 235. Dynamite, this is a nice cover. This I got this for the cover. <laughs> I think I, that's why. Uh, X, uh, Dynamite uh, number three. And Dynamite number three, the other variation. It's another cool cover. Very cool. I actually really like that cover. Really cool covers. Those Dynamites have really cool covers. Um, and this is Enough Said. Oh, that's awesome. Um, 401, X Men 401. Oh, the stack's getting quite high there. I'm going to just move something. Just bear with me. i got to move some stuff around here. Okay. And X-Men 249. X-Men 156. The Star Jammers. And this is Marvel Age. Um, this is like, uh, I believe, the New Warriors first appearance. Marvel Age 98, or 89, I should say. 89, Marvel Age 89. So that's the first preview of the New Warriors. And this is X-Men 404. X-Men 234, X-Men 400, another milestone issue, Uncanny X-Men uh, 366, another Dynamite one, number two, so this is the, I have, I think the, I have the full five in the set, so this is for eating the brain. As I said, these are really, I don't know, I really like these covers. And comment below if you like the dynamite covers. So I think they're cool. Um, and then X-Men 345. So this is, as I said, a big X-Men haul. <laughs> it's like huge. Um, X-Men 317. X-Men 480. 
another Star Trek. I have the complete collection. Actually, I ordered the remaining issues that I was missing of Star Trek. So I have the complete collection of Star Trek. Uh, this is X -Men, uh, Star Trek 58. And X-Men 214. And X-Men 305. It's so all over the place in terms of numbers. Okay. And another stack. So they gave me a pretty good price on uh, getting a whole bunch of X-Men. That's why that's why you see so many X-Men in this video. Um, as I said, I'm, I was almost paying cover price or pretty good pricing overall, like you know, three to five dollar range for most of these. So nothing nothing too extravagant. Maybe the, some of the earlier, well, Silver Age X-Men. Obviously, I paid more, but not they weren't that expensive. Okay, um, sorry. Upside down. This is Dynamite number four. Another cool cover. You can see how she's kind of like getting all turning into a zombie like. Kind of, I like those dynamite ones. And oops, upside down. Uh, X Men 333. So that's kind of cool. Oh, all these are upside down. X-Men uh, 158, okay, another Star Wars, Star Wars 95, and I have the complete collection of Star Wars as well, so at first, the first series, I just ordered the last few of them, uh, so yeah, so this is uh, Vision and the Scarlet Witch, number one. I got this, like, this order is actually from several months ago. <laughs> it just finally arrived in Canada. And this one, I think, is kind of a cool spec. Even though the series of Scarlet Witch and Vision is over, this is the first time their names appeared together. And it's, you know, their first solo series. So it's kind of cool. Um, you know, I actually really enjoyed the TV series. So I think that was kind of a cool one to pick up. Uh, so this is Uncanny X-Men uh, 478, X-Men number 417, X-Men, oh, sorry, getting awkward, uh, 332, I think this is the first appearance of Augmentus. So, so yeah, Asmund Dias. And um, X-Men uh, 423, green cover. Uh, and this one is, one sec, it's like an alternate cover. Uh, Dynamite Bloody Valentine, just a cool, cool cover. I, I just thought it was kind of quirky and fun. So that's... Um, and X-Men, <laughs> wow, so many, X-Men 311, X-Men 327, X-Men 255, Rogue cover, it's kind of cool. And X-Men 428, Nightcrawler, and uh, X-Men 148, so, so interesting color, Dazzler and a whole bunch of characters on there, uh, X-Men 411, And now here's some Golden Age. This is kind of a Golden Age one. I actually saw this on um, another comic collector's video, and I thought, oh, it's such a cool cover, I have to get it myself. So this is a very low-grade one, but this is Marvel Family uh, number 79. This is sort of like a fun kind of, uh, you know, Halloween haunt kind of style, like a little bit silly. Uh, 
comic cover. I just really liked the cover. Uh, I thought it was really kind of quirky and fun. So this is uh, Marvel Family 79. Not an expensive comic. I think I paid $10. <laughs> this was a $10 comic. So, um, and it's in really low grade. It's like a one. <laughs> it's like a really low grade. Um, so yeah, yeah, you get what you pay for. It's in pretty low grade. And here's another golden age. Um, I just really, I'm trying to get like, like as many of these as possible, the Wiz comics and Captain Marvel comics. So this is uh, Captain, uh, sorry, Wiz Comics 104. There's nothing special about this one. I just, you know, I'm, as I said, I'm just trying to collect the series of uh, Wiz Comics and Captain Marvel and all the different um, Shazam related uh, comics. So that's that one. And, X-Men 528, and last one is X-Men 248, okay, and one last stack, and then there's slabs, and then we're done, <laughs> so almost there, almost there, wow, so if you watch this long, I thank you for watching this long, I know this has been a really long video, I hope it's been interesting, I really, you know, it's, Fun for me, I don't know. It's hopefully it's fun for you too. And this is Dynamite. Uh, this is another variant cover, Dynamite number one. But it's just a, I thought it was a really cool cover with uh, Red Sonia on it. And that was, uh, and then it's um, another alternate cover of uh, Dynamite Bloody Valentine number one. It's a cool cover. And um, leave it to chance. Another series that I don't know much about, but I figured, hey, I'll leave it to chance and see if it's any good. <laughs> so um, yeah, leave it to chance number one. Again, I paid um, cover price for these, so it's not wasn't that big of a deal. Um, four twenty, uh, four forty five, X Men four forty five. And as I said, all these X-Men's are um, minor keys. So um, X-Men 194, so that's kind of cool. And X-Men 155. X-Men 415. X-Men 169, I believe this is the first uh, Archangel, or um, I think this is kind of a more major key. And this is X-Men 500, again, another milestone issue. So that's all of the loose comics. Now there's two slabs. Now these slabs I know are actually pretty major. Um, so if you've stayed, this is your, this is your reward. Uh, for staying this long and watching my video is to see some pretty major um, slabs. So the first is a modern comic. I'm going to put this over here. And this is a, a really cool series called Chew. And this is Chew number one. And even in this grade, it's a fairly pricey book. Um, a 9.8 probably run you like close to a thousand. It's a very pricey book. Um, but this is a very popular series called Chew, and basically he eats the brains of people and he can learn about them as, you know, solve cases and stuff like that. So this is his first, first, I'll read it to you, first full appearance of Tommy Chu, Agent Manson's Silva, and um, yeah. So yeah, so sort of a cool comic, uh, modern. I haven't read the series yet. I'm going to read it, actually. This is one that I really wanted to read. So yeah, so that's the first slab. And now this is the big one. This is the big slab that, uh, and if you kind of maybe guess, um, this is a very X-Men themed lot that I bought here. Um, and this is the final grail of that X-Men lot. Uh, so I was been trying. I've been trying to get um, one through twenty, 
And this is the last of the X-Men 1 through 20 that I needed. So, um, so I have number one already. I have all the other ones. It was just this one. I'm going to take it out of the plastic so you can see it nicely. And it's X-Men number two. And it's, and it's in a high grade, but it does have restoration, very slight restoration. Um, restoration includes small amount of cover touch on covered and has a married cover. So that really killed the price. So I was able to pick this up fairly cheaply, even though it's a high grade. Um, I gave him like a best offer and, uh, you know, he gave me a pretty good, good deal on it. Uh, so yeah, so this is X-Men number two. It's the last one that I needed from the first 20 issues of X-Men. And it's the first appearance of the Vanisher, which is not a major character. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of cool to, um, you know, get, you know, uh, X-Men number two. It's like early X-Men, the second appearance of all the major characters. And just, you know, really cool uh, comic to finish off that X-Men run. So that's that's been the crazy comic haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you know, this has been a pretty big unboxing. I think I showed over, well over 100 comics. <laughs> so, um, and there was a lot of keys mixed in. Um, as I said, all the X-Men that I showed are minor keys, if not major keys. And um, there was some cool uh, bronze, uh, not bronze, but Golden Age Wonder Woman and uh, some Silver Age Aquaman. I hope you enjoyed that part. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my other unboxing videos. I always do these pretty big unboxing videos, so you can see lots of cool comics that you might want to check out for yourself. So yeah, so thanks for watching, and I gotta say goodbye. <laughs>